Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 126th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, now to preface, I just wanted to say that this episode is going to be slightly shorter than normal, and that's mostly because I've been focused on the awesome jailbreak news this week. And for those of you who don't already know, the Evaders, the new dev team on the jailbreaking scene, which consists of MuscleNerd, Planet Being, Pod2G, and Pimskex, released a new untethered jailbreak utility dubbed Evasion for iOS 6. Now, this is the first official jailbreak tool for iOS 6, aside from Red Snow, which utilizes GeoHot's old Lime Rain exploit that's been compatible with the AP for base devices for quite some time now. And the new utility is capable of jailbreaking 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, .6 and 6.1 on all iOS based devices that can upgrade to iOS 6, which does include the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the 5th generation iPod Touch, the 4th generation iPod Touch, the 4th generation iPad, the 3rd generation iPad, the iPad 2, and the iPad Mini. So if you have yet to jailbreak your iDevice on Apple's latest firmware, just be sure to check out my complete untethered tutorial guide. And in the video and written tutorial, I go into depth and provide a easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. And after the jailbreak was released, I was flooded with literally thousands of questions pertaining to various Cydia packages, which ones were compatible with the newest devices and with the newest firmwares, and which ones I actually use on a daily basis. So I created a compilation video of 15 of my favorite tweaks, and I briefly went over each of them. So if you're in a position right now where you don't know what to do after jailbreaking and you don't know which tweaks you want, or maybe you just want to add tweaks to your iDevices portfolio, well, just be sure to check out my video. I also wrote a corresponding article article as well that contains more details. So I'll have links to both of those down below in the more info. Also, if you have any favorite tweaks or suggestions, you can leave those in the comments and I'll try to get to them in one of my next videos. And the other day on February 6th, just two days after the Evaders released their Evasion Untethered Jailbreak Utility, Apple ceded iOS 6.1.1 beta to developers. And while irrelevant to the majority of iOS device owners, 6.1.1 vastly improves maps for Japanese users. And if you want to see the complete changelog for 6.1.1, and trust me, there isn't much right now, I'll have a link to a post on my website down below that contains all of the details. And following Apple's developer-exclusive release of 6.1.1 Beta 1 yesterday on the 7th, Pod2G confirmed that it doesn't patch the exploits utilized by the Evasion untethered iOS 6 and 6.1 jailbreak. And while this is welcome news and comes as somewhat of a shock, it won't last forever. Apple will inevitably patch the iOS 6 untethered jailbreak with the forthcoming 6.1.1 one firmware. And because Apple hasn't patched the jailbreak yet, it's likely that 6.1.1 has been in development for some time, and its first beta was scheduled for release prior to evasion. The undeniably small window of time between the two releases could merely have been a coincidence. And needless to say, if you're a developer who enjoys the benefits of jailbreaking, do not update to 6.1.1 beta. Evasion is still incompatible because it was developed prior to the new firmware release. Next, kind of along the same lines, the Evaders updated their Evasion jailbreak utility, and the latest version is now 1.1. Now, the new update simply incorporates the system revisions that have been available on Cydia. When jailbreaking with the new version, users won't have to worry about possibly experiencing an issue that could cause questionably long boot times, and the default weather app will no longer quit immediately upon launch. However, if you have something on your device installed that will allow for cracked applications, your weather app will still crash upon launch. Also, if you've already jailbroken with Evasion version 1.0, there's no need to download the new version and rerun the updated jailbreak utility. To apply the revision, simply open Cydia, let it refresh, and download the required updates if you haven't done so already. And finally, according to a new rumor, Apple is reportedly scheduled to release both the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 in 2013. While the iPhone 5S is said to resemble the iPhone 5 and be similar to past incremental iPhone updates in the sense that it will just offer internal hardware upgrades, the iPhone 6 is said to sport a 5-inch display and feature a lighter and thinner profile. All right, now that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate it up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. And if you want a chance to possibly win one of two Amazon $200 gift cards, don't forget to like this video and leave a relevant comment in the comment section. It doesn't matter what your comment is, as long as it's relevant, you'll be automatically entered when you post it. And I'm actually concluding the giveaway this weekend, so don't forget to get all of your entries in now, and also you can earn additional entries on my jailbreak tutorial. And like I said before, I'll have a link to that down below in the more info. And for the question of the day, what do you guys think? Should Apple
Apple release a 5-inch iPhone, just let me know down below or on Best Tech Info. And to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.